Hey guys, today we're going to look at Dan's deck. It is Green Black Elves, and it is the post-rotation Shadows over Innistrad. So, the Elf deck will be legal for game day. And thanks so much for Dan for submitting these videos. I definitely want to put more user or subscriber content on my channel. I think it's kind of fun. So, this is Black Green Elves. With Coco. Oh, Messenger. Sylvan Messenger is pretty good, I feel like, in this deck. Uh, we're going to go Coco on the stack. Yeah, that one elf that does damage for every elf is very good. Oh, there's a Rhino. So Dan's deck is post-rotation. So you don't need to worry about it. You can make the exact deck um, and not worry about rotation at all. So he plays his... Rhino for the last time. That's a card that I both hate and love. It's going to be weird not seeing it played against me. Um, oh, Dark. So if he's playing against Mardu. I believe his next deck will be Black Red Vampires. But if you guys want to see something else, you can leave a comment below. And maybe he'll read a comment and play that deck. All those elves come. I think elves are very good. Uh, he mentioned that there's no clear mono red aggro deck. And I've been trying to build one, but I'm building one with Chandra at 6. So yeah, there's not one aggro one. Very good opening hand. We have, I mean, Coco is so good in this deck. I don't know how many elves are above free casting cost. Obviously, we have the elf lord. But yeah, I mean, looks... That was actually a very good move. Got two elves. Roasting. <laughs> when you hit the roast, they won one elf. <laughs> what has uh, the... But that's ab I think that's absolutely the correct play because you cannot allow um, too many of these little guys to come around because they will hit... I kind of want a... I kind of wish that green gave the decks like a, a booster. Kind of like Crater Hoof Behemoth. I remember how good Crater Hoof Behemoth was. So good in that type of deck. But looks like it's going to be a longer game. Nissa is around. Love Nissa. Oh, Ser the Carotid, or <laughs> not Carotid, that card rotated a long, rotated a long time ago. And off we go with more elves and more. Yeah, Elf Lord is uh, very good to play. It's definitely one of the better cards. Yeah, the Elf Lord is just so good in this deck. Grab land. Looks like... It looks like it can stand long game. That would probably be my main concern against... Main concern for playing an aggro deck is the late game. But the game has gone on for quite some time. And Mardu is typically a deck that is better in the mid game. But it looks like we have to triple block and... Oh, Coco. It's so good because I think it's even better than just regular aggro. Because your Coco just goes over the top. I mean, Coco grabbing a Nissa and just over the top. What else did it grab? It grabbed a Nissa and then that elf that produces one more elf if you control elves. And we can block and kill. Just instant speed. Well, obviously the Shaman is very good with Coco as well. It just does a tremendous amount of damage. Um, and it's very difficult to deal with in multiples. Board wipes. I would be mainly concerned about board wipes. I will have a list to the complete deck. Uh, I'll have a list to the complete deck um, below. And I'm sure Dan looks forward to your... Yeah, I mean... Top decking a Coco is so much value here because all you have to do is hit one of those shamans. Oh, and that's exactly what he hit. It's just so much value. And another. <laughs> it looks like a fun deck too. Uh, definitely looks very fun. So I'll have the deck list in the comment section below. And as well as, you know, what deck should Dan play? I will try to do more match play, I guess, on Magic Duels, which is not Magic Online. But, yeah. Bye.